happening tonight. The Orange County Board of Commissioners is expected to discuss rezoning a piece of land that some say would turn their town into a truck stop. And not just any truck stop, but a mega Bucky's truck stop. New at 6, CBS 17's Holden Kowicki is digging deeper into the battle over Bucky's that has a local community at a crossroads. If you've ever driven through the intersection of I-40 and I-85 in Orange County, you've been to Eflin, even if you didn't know it. And it's a small, unincorporated community. For years, the tiny town of just over 700 has served as a stop-through for travelers. And folks in Eflin have been uh, waiting for development for a long time. Uh, Western Orange County has felt like it has been ignored from development for a long time. Due to its location between two major interstates, Texas-based Bucky's is considering a 104-acre development that would add 120 gas pumps, 64,000 square feet of retail space, and add up to 200 jobs that pay a minimum of $15 an hour. Western Orange County needs jobs. Uh, you know, there's uh, uh, there's folks who are uh, looking for jobs and not trying to drive half an hour, an hour to, to make $15 an hour. The $15 an hour jobs are very attractive. In order to bring Bucky's to town, the entrance to Elfland would have to be reshaped. Shutting down exit 160 to build on an area deemed a protected watershed. And Orange County Commissioner Earl McKee admits it would impact existing business. There are always downsides to every project. Uh, to, you know, a realistic view is no project is all blue skies and butterflies. Those concerns have driven more than 5,000 people to sign a petition blocking Bucky's from breaking ground. Our town is not a pit stop. Ultimately, that will be up to the Orange County Commissioners to decide in the coming weeks. In Eflin, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.